it's Kara from iStampin.com. Thank you for joining me on my final day of 12 Days Left of Celebration series. Today is March 31st, which means celebration ends tonight. It ends at 12 midnight mountain time. So um, if you are in a different time zone, just... Um, Figure that out, and uh, that just lets you know that if there are any last-minute items that you are wanting to take advantage of that you have until midnight mountain time this evening. And at the same time, my mystery hostess giveaway ends um, at the same time. So I will be announcing that winner tomorrow. And um, as of right now, it's a, it's a nice little shopping spree, a nice little amount that you're going to to be able to shop front. I think that you're going to be really excited. So let me show you the last card in my uh, blog series. I am using the Butterfly Basic Stamp Set, and that is in our Occasions catalog. And I went with more of a collage um, theme or a collage design with the card. I've got two little butterflies. I use the Elegant Butterfly Punch and the Itty Bitty, um, or the Itty butterfly, bitty butterfly punch, sorry, and then just some of the stamps. And I stamped this on a note card. Um, so this comes with matching envelopes in the catalog. So why don't we get started? I'll show you the colors that I've chosen for today. So we're using pistachio pudding and crisp cantaloupe, and then Sahara sand and island indigo. So these are the four colors that we're using. And like I said, um, we're using a note card size card. So they already come cut and scored, so all you need to do is just give it a good crease with your bone folder. And we're going to be using quite a few of the stamps from the, uh, the stamp set. So this is what it looks like. And um, this is what it looks like. So the first thing that um, you're going to need to do is I'm going to be, uh, as you can see, um, I did a lot of layering, so which kind of gives it that collage effect. So I'm going to be starting here at the bottom with that honeycomb pattern, and you're going to need your foam pad for this. And then what I like to do is um, I'm going to just mask off on the left side just in case I stamp over a little too much I want to keep the clean or the left side clean so I'm going to ink up with Sahara sand and I'm going to stamp off once then I'm going to come over here and then just stamp down here on the bottom left corner okay all right so the next thing that I'm going to do is stamp the vine or the fern kind of pattern. So I'm gonna put that on a block. And this is gonna be stamped in pistachio pudding. Again, I'm gonna stamp off once. So just stamp off on my grid mat and then bring that back in here. Alright, next we're going to do the large flower, and this is going to be in pistachio pudding, or not Chris cantaloupe, let's try that. And I'm going to stamp off again. And then just stamp right there. Okay, now I'm going to use the, this image right here. I'm going to have that go across Island Indigo for this. I'm just going to kind of go down right here. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna do the, there is nothing in the caterpillar that tells you it is going to be a butterfly. I'm gonna do that sentiment over here. And I'm gonna do that in Island Indigo as well. And I'm not stamping off on this one either. Okay, so I'm gonna ink up the smallest butterfly in crisp cantaloupe. and use the Bitty, but, Bitty Butterfly Punch to punch that out. Okay, now I'm going to stamp the other butterfly in Island Indigo. And I'm gonna stamp off once and then stamp on the Whisper White cardstock. And then I'm going to be using the Elegant Butterfly Punch. Now the Elegant Butterfly Punch doesn't match it perfectly, but what I was wanting is just to get that pattern. Now bring the card back in. And then I'm going to use two glue dots to attach the butterflies. Take the small one first and put the glue dot on the back. And have it kind of be over there, kind of covering up some little boo-boos that I made with my fingers. Ink smudges. It's a nice little trick that you can do. Then I'm going to take the other one and put the glue dot in the center. And then have it go in the center of the flower. So it looks like that. So a nice, really fun collage card that you can make that's perfect for spring. So there you have it, ladies, the last card of the series. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about how to use the hostess code, um, that information will be attached to the video notes on this video as well as the accompanying blog post. So if you have any questions on how to use the hostess code, get in touch with me. I also made a video back um, at the start of the series that you can watch and that should give you um, a, a good directions on how to, how to input that. Um, if you have any questions about celebration, anything like that, you know that you can always get in touch with me and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks guys. Have a great day. Bye.